that we are here. Oh, what was that? Was that just a big yawn? In the hope that we are here when Mom comes back to collect them. It does seem as though she has crossed south at the Mulwati drainage line. Well, hopefully she does make a kill. Either way for these little ones, but hopefully she decides to make a kill or is lucky making a kill on Juma rather than to the south of our boundary. So what that means for uninitiated viewers is we cannot go absolutely everywhere. We've got certain places we can go and it looks as though she has crossed in a river system outside of the place that we can go. So we can't follow up on her there. She's probably desperately hunting away. It looks like we've got Hosanna there. Though it's very hard to tell. I can't see completely. I don't know if Chandra, if you agree or if you... Mm, I think so. I think so too. I think little sis is hidden behind the tree off to the right. You won't be able to see Shungile for now. I think we've got the little male here. Having a jolly good clean and slightly more restful than when we last saw them where they were. I think they've tired themselves out all of that playing first thing in the morning. And hello once again to Justin who is looking a little bit ahead in time and we've spoken a lot about the potential independence of these cubs when it occurs and Justin's wondering when will Shungile go, when does a female leopard when is it first ready to have its first set of cubs the answer is usually between two to two and a half years of age is when they are ready, they've established themselves a territory and they are ready to reproduce. Some individuals might be might start going into heat or into estrus earlier than that but its chances are it's going to be a false estrus and if they do have cubs because they haven't established themselves a territory yet the chances of survival are a little bit lower. When it's around two, two and a half years old that they will start to have their first set of cubs. I mean if you think about it, Shadow must be nearly ten Shadow and Tandy, and Karula is 12, so she had them just when she was just over two years old, according to that mathematics. And that, of course, would be the older siblings of these two little bundles of mischief. Obviously, we're very far away at the moment which is exactly where we want to be. We're definitely not going to try for getting any closer. And we're going to be well, as quiet as possible. That's your foot, little one. And there he's going to go for little sister. I keep calling you a little sister there. Oopsie, sorry, that was my fault, not Chandra's. I haven't actually lifted my foot off the brake, which I'm going to do now, and it's not Chandra's fault. There we go. <laughs> that hasn't, hasn't really helped any. I was a bit concerned I was going to crash into yours. Well, there's a chance, if Karula does kill something south of the boundary, that this will be... we won't have any luck following up on the Sunset Safari because she might come and fetch them and move them to the south. We won't know until we head back out here in a few hours. Nevertheless, I, I definitely think this so far has been my best sighting of these cubs. To see them barrel about and play has been absolutely extraordinary.